Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be video number three of this series. Um, probably the most entertaining video, and the reason I say that is because I don't know how to do body work. But I've seen it on YouTube, and I'm going to do it. So that being said, if anyone is watching this video because maybe they want to learn a little bit about how to do body work or paint work, um, you should probably go search somebody else's video because this is not the one to watch. But y'all, we gotta crawl before we walk, right? So this is definitely me crawling. Um, you can see the hood is still on the donor car. I haven't had a chance yet to remove it because I didn't have someone else to help me. But I thought, you know, it's secured. You know, it's, it's way sturdier than having it on a body panel stand. So I went ahead and I sanded it with uh, 320 grit. I found a bunch of imperfections as seen by the body filler. I threw some body filler on here. My help is on its way. And we're gonna take the hood off pull the felt off, uh, wash the whole underside of the hood, dry it, and I'm gonna paint that first so I don't have to worry about that. And then I'm gonna finish the, uh, the body filler, sanding and priming and everything on the top. Um, one thing I overlooked on the car is uh, this car has a rear spoiler on the trunk deck and the black car does not have one. So I, I thought I might as well take the spoiler off of this car and paint it black and put it on the black car that kind of help dress it up a little bit and there's no reason to leave the spoiler on this car that's just going to end up in the scrap yard eventually anyway so that being said i hope you enjoy the video this is the spoiler i was talking about and if you open the trunk and look it's basically held in by uh two nuts on each side so the spoiler has studs that come through holes in the trunk deck so Let's take it off of there. Sometimes there's glue or double-sided adhesive tape that kind of makes these things stick. This one's sticking. I'm going to use a plastic uh, trim panel tool to see if I can pry this off because I'd like to save this uh, deck lid. Just like that. This thing's in good shape. I'm going to sand this down and paint it black and install it on the other car. Looking at the inside of the trunk deck, you can see that there's just holes drilled in this flat section. Two holes on each side, and that's how the spoiler mounts. So I'm going to paint it and drill some holes and install it on the black car. I've sanded most of the filler down on the hood, but this big spot right here, you can see, this is a high spot, that's what that indicates right there. That's a high spot, I can still kind of feel it. And I'd like to, uh, I'd like to try to make it so it's less. It's probably not the proper way to fix it, but I'm gonna put a little bit more filler up in this area right here, just so that I can get it so it's less of a, so there's less of a bump because we're painting it black and it's going to show every I mean it's probably going to show anyways cuz I'm an amateur but I'd like to try to do a little bit better on it so I'm going to put a little bit more filler on here to see if I can kind of smooth out the, the the hill right there I'm guessing somebody probably sat on this hood at one time because underneath on the bottom side is a support a support brace and that's 
probably how this metal got pushed up and created that high spot. So I'm going to mix up some more filler and uh, just target that one area. The rest of this is coming up pretty good. You see there's another, I had a low spot here, a high spot here, but I'm going to use epoxy primer so I'm okay with that metal showing. Here is my biggest concern. So I'm going to mix up some filler and put another coat of filler on it. We'll let it dry for a couple hours and come back and see if we can level it out a little better. <laughs> 